So a few days ago, we got uh, this presenting the top 20 characters selected from Battle Rank, 50 players in Golden Showdown number four. Now, I haven't looked through the list yet. I'm suspecting even from number fucking one that this list is very, uh, not my same, uh, uh agreement, I guess. <laughs> I can't really think of the word because it just seems like bullshit, but look. The reason I want to do it for your Golden Showdown is because everyone got to rank 50. Regardless if you played a lot or a little, you got to rank 50 because it was double RP, meaning easier to get to rank 50, meaning you'll play people very high up rank 50 or very down low of rank 50. You'll play a 7k RP player or you'll play a 17k RP player. So I think it's very uh, more true to see what the top 50 or the top 50 uh whatever the top 20 characters of battle rank 50 because everyone most likely got to battle rank 50 in this season so sorry for my stuttering because i'm a fucking idiot starting off popular sparking character rankings number one ui goku i'll go over each ranking system at, at the end two goku black green three super saiyan gohan lf four super saiyan blue vegeto 5, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, 6, Super Gogeta, 7, Perfect Form Cell, Revival, 8, Legends Limited Namek Goku, 9, Full Power Broly, LF, 10, Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, 11, uh, LF Kid Buu, 12, DKP Aged, 13, LF Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, 14, Zenkai 7, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, 15, Zenkai 7, Super Saiyan Bardock. 16, Vados. Uh, 17, Android 21, good. 18, Android 18. 19, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Rounds out number 20. So, no. Um, I would say Goku Black is number one most used. Uh, all you see is future, 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 future. UI Goku, nah. You don't see enough Saiyans, God Key, all that bullshit, no. Uh, I don't know why they... Think this is accurate it's not i don't know if they crunch the numbers or something but no ui goku is definitely not number one i would say goku black is number one the rival cell is number two uh maybe this purple super saiyan blue vegeta is number three because the only team you see on the ladder at br50 in golden showdown was android future and that's it you would see some god key some fusions some saiyans some super saiyans but you see future. Future is the only team you really face in VR15. So I would say Green Goku Black is number one. Cell is number two. This Vegeta is number three. Uh, ignoring that, I would put UI Goku down like 15 spots. He is not that used. And it's not like how good the character is. It's just playtime. So who has the most playtime? Uh, LF Gohan, I seriously doubt that because who the fuck summoned on that banner? No, no one really. And if they did, they probably only have two stars and no one really wants these two-star LF. Blue Vegito, I agree with. Um, you probably have him decent stars by now. He's been out for almost a year. And he's been on almost every single fucking banner that's come out in this game in the last year. So, I wouldn't doubt that. Blue Gogeta, sure. He's, you know, Gogeta Blue. People like shiny Gogeta Blue. They like their shiny fusions, so... Maybe, maybe a few spots down. Uh, I would say it's all right, his positioning. Super Gogeta, sure. I did say you do see a lot of Super Saiyans sometimes. Uh, more in the high ranks than the lower ranks. But yes, um, he is just super good on Super Saiyans with maybe Purple Zenkai 7 Broly, LF Broly. Uh, you see him on Super Saiyans, but that that's really it. So I don't fully disagree with his ranking. Name it Goku. Is this people who brought into the match? Hold on. The usage of each character is calculated based on players who possess that character. Only character selectors. Okay, so it's only battle members. I would agree with Namek if it was bench included because Namek has double strike attack and blast attack Z ability. Plus he does blue Saiyan, so it's very vast what he buffs for his Zenkai and Z ability. But if it's in battle, then no. Namek should be probably like 15, 16, 17. And we go down, we'll see the funnier ones. Broly, same case as Gogeta. Uh, they could be near each other, far from each other, but it's the same case. Uh, 
you would run them together. So if one's somewhere, then the other one should be kind of close by, which they are. Kid Boo, I ran into maybe two Kid Boos and I played to the top 300 of PvP. So no, uh, Kid Boo shouldn't even be on this list. I honestly have seen more like EX Trunks than Kid Boo. And yeah, you don't see EX units in battle often. So no, Kid Boo should not be there. Same with DKP, and maybe I fought 10 of them. Uh, this is when his banner dropped during Golden Showdown, so I guess you could make that case, but even then, that was like a, that was like inflation to the max, because it's, oh, a new unit dropped, okay, new PvP season, okay, new unit plus PvP season, must use, must use, one, two days later, he falls off the face of the earth. Honestly, I'm surprised that the Broly's not on here, but he's just that underwhelming, you know, I guess it makes sense. DK, he's also underwhelming, but not as much. LF Gohan, yeah, uh, he doesn't see that much play as often as you used to see him, just because there's so many good units at this point. You don't really necessarily need LF Gohan. Now, he's still like a one-hitter quitter if you have good equips, good bench uh, character, but you don't need him. So I agree, you don't see him that that much, but you see him enough to warrant the list. Super Saiyan Blue Goku, yeah, Gaki's not that often, Blue Blue Purple is mostly Super Saiyan, he's not Super Saiyan, so, eh, I, I agree to an extent, he could not even make the list in my opinion, but that's just me. Bardock should be higher, Bardock should be in between, let's say, Namek Goku and Kid Buu, because if you're running Gogeta, you're running Broly, you're running Bardock, it's just that simple. Vados... Uh, Vados is on those gimmick teams that are complete bullshit, like Android 18, Topo, and, uh, herself. Where you just heal and just spam green cards obnoxiously and just be a little shit. Uh, if you can't tell, I dislike people that use those teams because they're super gimmicky. Uh, I agree with her barely making the list, but I, I could see a point, like a lot of points being made where she doesn't even come close to this list. Andrew 21 good, not on the list. She doesn't make the list. She's not in battle. You don't bring her into the match. I'm sorry. I rarely see this motherfucker. And if you do see her, it's just disappointment. Why would you even bring her in the first place? 18 should be higher. Uh, 18 should probably be near LF Super Saiyan Gohan because you are swapped with LF Super Saiyan Gohan because no. Uh, a lot of matches are androids in the top topper. Topper? higher ranks so no uh 18 should definitely be higher up i swear i saw her every other match in last season and even this season i'm seeing her ridiculous amount because you know they had to bring her amazing great fantastically unique banner back that's super unique to the character that you know great character lf super or not lf i'm surprised lf super saiyan 3 goku's not on this list honestly purple super saiyan 3 goku uh, again, he's the same case as Namek for me. If they included Bench, sure, but I don't see this guy in play at all, like, ever anymore. I haven't even run into one this season, let alone maybe two or three times last season, so no. Uh, Kefla should be higher than probably Android 21. Uh, I've seen her more than all these other three down here, besides 18, because I said 18 should be where LF Gohan is. Uh, Kefla just sees a lot of play. She's still stupid. Uh, that permanent card draw is ridiculous. I don't know why they have these, like, simp mentalities where they're like, Oh, girls, card draw, girls, card draw. Like, they make them broken. But, it is what it is. Uh, so, down to the extremes. I might go over, uh, the heroes, I'm not going over. But the extremes, I do think, is valuable. Because one of these, I said, is very good. Popular extreme character rankings. Whis, number one. Gogeta, number two. Trunks, youth, new number three master roshi number four uh number five is zenkai seven first form frieza number six zenkai seven second form cell yellow broly is number seven. Oh, thanks for the follow uh number eight is super saiyan 2 angel goku number nine is zenkai seven nappa number 10 is ex super vegeta zenkai seven krillin Zen krillin didn't have his zenkai but oh that's interesting i'll talk about that Kakunsa, number 12, Videl, number 13, Full Power Pojack, number 14, 15, Zenkai 7, Vegeta, Raditz, Zenkai 7 is number 16, Majin Buu, good, 17, EX Broly, 18, EX Mai, 19, EX Final Form Frieza is number 20. So, 
Whis! I guess people just try to green card gimmick with Goku Black and all this bullshit, whatever, whatever. I, I don't know. Truly, I don't know why Whis is still number one. I don't even think that's even true, but sure, fuck it. Uh, I think Krillin and maybe even some Super Warriors surpass him this season, funny enough, because Krillin's actually really fun. We'll talk about him when we get there, though. EX Gogeta, uh, sure, he's Zenkai buffed, he's a really good EX, but you're not running him over Red Gogeta, so maybe people are running Red, Red, Green with Kefla and Gogeta, and that's like a stretch, so honestly, not very sure where this is coming from. I, I get it, but, you know, you see them so subtly and so minimally, these EX units, you really don't pay attention to them when you shit stomp them, because they're not good, good enough. Trunks Youth. Uh, I said he was good when he dropped, and I still agree with that. Uh, he's a very good supporter, he's a good defender, he heals, he draws a green card to heal. I mean, he, he's good. I just think he's good. Now, I don't think he's number three, but again, I don't really know the EX unit route where people are like, oh, I'm bringing a full EX team or some bullshit. So, can't disagree with it, but I just, I just think he's good, so I'm happy to see him up here. EX Roshi, I also think is very fucking good. He's basically a baby Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, if you don't know. And what Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta does is he lowers sub count on main. This Roshi does the same. I believe he draws a blue card or a green, one of the two. And that pairs well with Launch, the team he wants to be run on, because Launch can swap out with a green. And then, let's say you vanish with her. Boom, you pop the green. Boom, you swap out. Boom, you get more buffs up. And you're getting more and more buffs built up because you're getting more swaps in. So, he enables a very good uh, synergy for Dragon Ball Saga. So, again, happy to see him here. EX First from Frieza, he was the best uh, Zenkai 7 EX. So, it just makes sense. Uh, LOE got a couple buffs in the prior weeks to Golden Showdown. So, again, makes sense. Cell, he was the new shiny EX, I believe, Zenkai. I'm not sure if he was just Zenkite or he Zenkite a week ago before that but regardless he was the uh new shiny boy so using him made sense broly i guess he's still runnable on uh super saiyans uh yellow yellow blue maybe maybe they want to run him with like the new broly that dropped the dbz one with this one and then bardock maybe i'm pulling at straws trying to understand that goku I've never seen this Goku run in my life besides when I used him, so I don't know about that. Nappa, not too bad. Uh, Strike-based Saiyan, so not terrible for the team currently. It's just he's an EX, so what are you going to do? EX Super Vegeta, i never seen him run. Uh, I don't know where this is from. Again, if this included bench units, sure, but again, it doesn't, so I don't know where this diverts from. <laughs> EX Krillin, though, that's surprising, because EX Krillin just got a Zenkai this week. So, for him to have been used so often pre-Zenkai is actually very, like, interesting to me. That people were like, oh shit, let me use this guy before Zenkai's, and then post-Zenkai we can compare. Now, it's not a really vast comparison, because he didn't really get much stat increase, or much to his uniques, but he's still fucking usable, so I'm surprised to see him up here. Kakunsa, I don't know. Uh... The ones I don't know, I'm just, I don't know. EX Videl, she's good at tanking. I don't know what else. Bojack, I haven't even, that's the one character in the game I haven't leveled up. I just, he's a decent Z ability, I heard. That's all. This EX Vegeta, a uh, decent blast base unit paired with Raditz. They're kind of meant to go together with Nappa, even though he's strike base, which does not help them. Uh, but decent blast base unit, I guess. Both of them, I don't know. Uh, if you're trying to run a fun team, I understand this would be a fun team The you know, three OG Saiyans before Goku understood he was a Saiyan. I get it, I get it, I get it. The Saiyan Saga team. Majin Buu, good. Z ability, good. Uh, I think his main draws a new hand. I think he gets crit rate up uh, for his allies per card used. Or for him, but it's crit rate up per card used on strikes, I think. So, I guess that's alright. Maybe he can faint on his blue. I assume he can. Uh, EX Broly, very good Z ability. I've used him a number of times. I think he cancels attribute upgrades for the opponent, 
with his main, uh, his green is pretty good. His damage isn't terrible. It's just that he wants to be hit more and more and be on the field longer. So that's obviously not good in a meta that can literally one-shot him with uh, LF Gohan. EX Mai, if you've seen those videos, I personally haven't, but I've just, you know, seen them around. Uh, like, you swap from... What is it? Bardock to EX Mai, then you pop her main and you have a green card in hand already. Get the sub count down by 5, then by 5 again. And then boom, you swap back into Bardock, then you swap into the Super Saiyan unit. And then you do insane damage because you have basically double stacked uh, Super Saiyan Bardock buffs on the unit. So that's why her use is even here. That just shows how little EX are used if she even makes it. This Frieza, I've used them. Complete dog shit. Uh, good Z ability. Double defense, I believe, for LOE and powerful opponent. Or just powerful opponent, but LOE is powerful opponent, so. Uh, dog shit unit, as I just said. No redeeming qualities. Very bad. Nice Z ability. That's all. And heroes. Who gives a fuck about heroes? I saw Hercule. I don't give a fuck about the list. And just to conclude, uh, the raid just finished, I believe, a few hours ago. Maybe like two hours ago. Uh, so if you got your rewards, congrats. If you didn't, uh, shucks. That sucks to suck. Yeah, the raid's over. Maybe next time, play the raid, get your 1kcc and dip out. Uh, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.